Is your to-do list leaving you completely paralyzed? We've all been there. Drowning in deadlines, juggling priorities, trying to figure out what to tackle first while meetings eat up your calendar. But what if AI could analyze your tasks, estimate completion times, and automatically schedule everything around your existing commitments? Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the AI-first workflow consultancy. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple AI agent that can transform your chaotic to-do list into a perfectly organized calendar. And the best part, it only takes a few minutes to set up in Claude and Zapier MCP. So let's jump in. Before we get started, I wanna quickly tell you how this whole thing came about. The other day, I was talking with my friend, Trevor Longino. Trevor's the CEO of Crowd Tamers, a fantastic go-to-market agency. Trevor had just returned from vacation and was greeted by the unwelcome sight of an overstuffed to-do list. He was in that position we all know too well. He had too much to do, not enough time, and complete decision paralysis about where to start. But Trevor's not the kind of guy to just mope about his problems. Instead of letting this pile of tasks get to him, he went ahead and created an AI agent to sort through the mess. While this might sound like a creative procrastination tactic, it actually helped him to be more productive. It analyzed his upcoming tasks, estimated time requirements for each one, and automatically blocked time on his calendar. No more guessing, no more overwhelming lists, just a clear actionable schedule. It wasn't necessarily a perfect sorting of every priority, but it made it easy for him to get started when motion was more important than precision. I was so impressed with the idea that I had to create my own version to share with you. But since his was pretty advanced, I thought it would be best to come up with a simplified tool that anyone can build in just a few minutes. Let me show you what I built using Claude and Zapier MCP. I'm going to test it out with some fake tasks that I whipped up in Notion, and I'll have it create events for me in Google Calendar. If you're using different tools for task management and for your calendar, don't worry. As long as it's one of the 8,000 web apps connected to Zapier, it'll work just fine. In my Notion Tasks database, I've got 20 tasks due in less than two weeks. I'm making this a real stress test for our AI assistant. I've got some existing events in my Google Calendar, so it'll need to work around those commitments. Over in Claude, we can see that it's got access to both Notion and Calendar via Zapier, so we're all set to give it a test. Here's my prompt to Claude. I'll have it find tasks in my Notion database, then analyze the due dates, urgency, and dependencies. With that information, I'll ask it to estimate completion times for each task. From there, it should determine the best order to complete the tasks and create corresponding events on my calendar during regular working hours. I'll also make sure it avoids conflicts with existing meetings and schedules everything in the future. At the time of filming this video, time travel is still off the table. I'll send the prompt and see what happens. Claude starts processing my request, sharing its little robot thoughts every step of the way. It goes through each part of my prompt methodically, using a combination of Zapier actions and custom code to execute my instructions. First, it's finding the right Notion page and database. Then it sends an API call to Notion to get a list of all tasks. Looks like its initial attempt to use a pre-made Zapier step didn't work. Next, it checks Google Calendar to see what events are already scheduled. Using all that data it retrieved, it starts to determine a priority order for tasks. It's going to start by estimating the time required for each task. In the code that Claude's generating, we can even see an estimated duration variable that sets an estimated length in minutes. Claude then creates an algorithm to sort by priority factoring in the due date, the estimated duration, and the manually applied priority. Now it needs to figure out how to schedule the tasks, so it's creating an algorithm for that too. Now it's going to create calendar events one at a time for each task. Now it's all set and giving me a summary of everything it did. Seems like Claude's pretty proud of its work. It says it scheduled every task except one, which couldn't get squeezed in before its due date. You know, I appreciate the honesty. Let's check the output for ourselves. Over in Google Calendar, we can see an absolutely jam-packed week. Every task from my to-do list is represented on the calendar with the event duration based on Claude's estimates. And the order follows a logical flow. Back in Notion, we can see that before we can prepare the social media report for the exec team, we've got to review July analytics. And the calendar reflects that with an event for Review July Analytics placed before the event to prepare the social media report. Awesome. That's exactly the kind of intelligence I was hoping to see in this process. Now, I definitely should have told Claude to leave some time for breaks and lunch. My bad. 
But even without that reminder, it did leave a few quick breaks for me to catch my breath between task marathons, so that was nice. Ultimately, this kind of agent might be better for building a daily schedule rather than a full weekly calendar. That would make it run faster and would help you account for any new important and urgent obligations that come up throughout the week. So in total, the whole process took just about 10 minutes. Even if I'm being very optimistic, it's hard to imagine that I could have gone through the entire to-do list of 20 tasks and created correctly ordered events in less than half an hour. That would leave me with only a minute and a half per task, not very likely. So this is a much faster way to clean up my to-do list than trying to do it all manually. Now, I know what a lot of you are probably thinking. What if Claude's estimates are wrong? Well, a lot of them probably are, but guess what? Mine would have been wrong too. Have you ever tried estimating exactly how long a project or a task will take? I've never met anyone who can really do that reliably down to the minute. The best we can ever hope for is a good starting point. I'm sure I'll need some more time on some of these tasks and less on others, but that's the thing. Once you have something recommended to you, it helps you figure out what your own preference is. Thankfully, it's easy to adjust the calendar events as I go to better reflect how much time it took. And once I'm done, I can feed that data back into Claude to make an even better estimate next time. The key takeaway here is that Agentic AI is extremely easy to set up and can do the boring parts of your work in a fraction of the time. Need help building your own AI agent? Or do you just want to automate your Claude prompts with Zapier? Reach out to Locode Engineers for rapid support from a certified expert. There's no long-term commitment. Just book as much time as you need to accomplish your goals. Go to lowcodeengineers.com today to get started. Now, let's wrap things up with a quick look at how to build this AI scheduling tool for yourself. The setup relies mostly on Claude and Zapier MCP. I made a detailed tutorial about using Zapier MCP in a previous video, which is linked on your screen now. But I'll quickly go through the process of using Zapier MCP and Claude right now. First, sign into your Zapier account and go to mcp.zapier.com. Create a new server. Select Claude as the client and give your server a name. Then add tools for each app that you want to connect to Claude. For the example I demonstrated, that would require adding tools for Notion and Google Calendar, but you can add whichever apps you want. You can either choose each action you want to add one by one or include all available actions with a single click. Once you've added all of your tools, click on the Connect tab. Copy the integration URL and open the provided Claude link. Click Browse Connectors and select Zapier all the way at the end of the alphabetical list. Select Connect and paste the integration URL into the Server URL field. Click Continue and you'll be redirected to Zapier to authorize the connection. Now you should be all set to use your Zapier MCP server in Claude to run tasks in Notion, Google Calendar, or any other app you've connected. You can ask Claude to create a calendar for your Notion tasks like we just did, or you can ask it for any other assistance you want. For instance, you could just ask a simple question like, which task is the most urgent to complete? Or you could ask for a quick rundown of all the events on your calendar this week. That's what's nice about using the Zapier MCP server. You don't need to pre-configure every workflow. It turns Claude into a versatile assistant, ready to help you make an overwhelming to-do list more manageable. Creating a schedule with Claude and Zapier MCP isn't about replacing your judgment with artificial intelligence. It's about eliminating the friction between knowing what needs to be done and actually getting started. The hardest part of any overwhelming day isn't the work itself. It's deciding what to do first, how long it will take, and how it all fits together. With Claude and Zapier MCP, you're not just getting a schedule, you're getting momentum, you're getting clarity, and most importantly, you're getting your time back that you'd normally be spending agonizing over prioritization. If this video helped you out, like and subscribe to the channel for more AI and automation updates every week. You can also find me and my company X-Ray by searching for X-Ray Automation on nearly every social media platform. For now, I've gotta go. So until next time, find your focus and stay in flow.